Hamas is a Palestinian political and military organization. It was founded in 1987 during the First Intifada, an uprising against Israeli rule in the Palestinian territories. Some countries and organizations classify Hamas as a terrorist organization, while still supported notably by Iran and some Arab countries. Hamas effectively runs the show in the Gaza Strip, which is a Palestinian territory, by combining both political and military control. This began in 2007 when they emerged victorious in the legislative elections held in 2006. Here's the lowdown on how Hamas handles things in Gaza. First, Hamas operates like a government in Gaza, with ministries, a parliament, and administrative bodies. Ismail Haniyeh leads this de facto government. They also have a significant armed wing called the Izad Din al-Qasim brigades responsible for security and often clashing with Israel. Plus, there's a local police force for maintaining law and order. And Hamas silenced dissents with force, as peaceful protesters were met with violent crackdowns and arbitrary arrests. Hamas provide social services, like education, healthcare, and welfare programs. They have a tight grip on the media, shaping the information that's available to the public. Hamas's influence extends to taxation, trade restrictions, and financial activities. The infrastructure in Gaza is crumbling, with hospitals, schools, and basic amenities falling into disrepair. Education suffers too, as overcrowded classrooms and a lack of resources deprive children of their right to a quality education. And the children of Gaza bear the brunt of this reality, trapped in a cycle of poverty, violence, and limited opportunities for a brighter future. There's also the matter of relationships with other Palestinian factions, with Fatah, controlling the West Bank, being a key player. Life under Hamas governance in the Gaza Strip is characterized by a unique blend of political control, economic challenges, social and cultural influence, educational and media constraints, security measures, and political tensions. These aspects collectively shape the daily experiences of the people living in the region. One of the most pressing issues facing the people of Gaza is the dire economic situation. The Gaza Strip has been grappling with high unemployment rates, limited economic opportunities, and significant resource constraints due to its geographic isolation. However, it's essential to recognize that the economic challenges are not only a result of Hamas's governance, but also Israel's restrictions and blockades have also played a substantial role in exacerbating these difficulties. The situation in Gaza is really tough. Israel's security policies, like border closures and import-export restrictions, have seriously impacted the economy. It's a complex issue influenced by both Hamas's governance and Israeli policies, making life challenging for people in the region. Hamas enforces a strict interpretation of Islamic law in Gaza, impacting daily life, including dress codes, public behavior, and adherence to Islamic principles, which can be restrictive for some residents. For women, conservative cultural norms are enforced, restricting their freedom and opportunities. Hamas also extends its influence into the education system and media outlets in Gaza, using them as platforms for propagating its ideological and political agenda. In schools, the curriculum may reflect the organization's beliefs and values, essentially promoting its narrative. This control over education contributes to shaping the perspectives of young generations. Additionally, in the media sphere, Hamas exercises significant influence over the content and narratives of local media outlets, effectively using them to spread its propaganda and promote its agenda. This not only impacts the information accessible to the population but also limits the diversity of perspectives available, further solidifying its influence and control. Most importantly, there have been concerns about Hamas potentially mishandling or redirecting foreign aid meant for the Palestinian territories. This has raised doubts and criticism regarding how international donations and humanitarian assistance are managed by the organization. However, the specific details and evidence about the extent of this alleged corruption are not readily available, due to limited transparency and tight control. It is sometimes referred to as the Bermuda Triangle, where everything that enters seems to vanish. Despite billions in foreign aid sent to Gaza, the population continues to live at a subsistence level, leading to widespread skepticism about the distribution of aid and allegations of corruption. One of the most significant aspects of daily life under Hamas is the political tension it creates within the Palestinian territories. The political divide between Hamas, which governs Gaza, and Fatah, which controls the West Bank, has created a rift in Palestinian governance. This division affects the lives of Palestinians, as it hinders reconciliation efforts and unity. Political tensions between these two factions have broader implications for the Palestinian cause and their ability to negotiate with Israel. 
Israel's ongoing occupation of the West Bank and its security measures in response to the conflict contribute to these tensions. Hamas recently carried out a series of attacks and kidnapped multiple Israeli citizens. These actions have escalated tensions in the region, resulting in increased hostilities and military responses from Israel started with an airstrike that had claimed thousands of civilians. Moreover, deep divisions have emerged in the U.S. Congress due to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, with staunch pro-Israel members and vocal pro-Palestinian lawmakers on the left clashing over their stances and views. The situation in Gaza remains highly challenging, influenced by humanitarian, political, and regional factors. Gazans continue to grapple with economic hardships, limited freedoms, and the ongoing Israeli-Palestinian conflict, all of which contribute to the complex reality of daily life under Hamas's governance in the Gaza Strip. To make it worse, the Palestinian conflict brings significant hardships to the people living there, causing loss of life, damage to infrastructure, and a sense of insecurity. It disrupts their daily lives, limits access to essential services, and has long-lasting effects on their well-being and prospects for the future. Both Hamas and Israeli policies play significant roles in shaping the daily lives of Gazans, and finding a path towards resolution and peace remains a complex and multifaceted challenge.